Lisa? I am in the tub in hopes of getting JJ in the tub with me because he's not as quick to get in the bathtub as Bruce is. So, come here, let's go. Justice, up. Up. Yep, good boy, yep. Good. Mm. Okay, yep, keep it going. Yep, no, wrong way. Up. Justice, up. You gotta tell your dogs to do something, not ask them. Good boy, Justice, good boy. We are going to first brush his coat because he is still shedding. We we'll use the Furminator. It's the Furminator. And both Justice and Bruce don't mind being brushed, babe. We make it a pleasant experience Yeah. as best as we can. His shedding is finally calming down a bit. Finally, oh, okay. He's getting through his he's, puppy coat. You can tell he's starting to get more relaxed in the bathtub too. The way he acts when he's in there compared to when I first started doing this is much different. I usually don't bathe the dogs anymore. I yeah, stop. It's, it's usually a me and the dog thing. Um, Jason does so much else for these dogs and he's with them way more than I can ever be since I go to a, a job not in the home. So uh, they're always gonna look to Jason for more leadership. So I like to be able to do this kind of stuff more. And, and plus it's like, it's now it's her hands are touching the dogs. Like yeah. touch goes so far in your relationship with your dog. So she's like physically touching them, making them feel good. Yeah, like they like it. He likes this, like his head's down. He's just relaxed. His ears are all goofy. Cause I he's like, like, I can tell too, after I do it, cause I usually do it on a Friday night going into a weekend. Afterwards, the dogs just, I get that sense of appreciation more. Like they appreciate me more. Um, they're more attentive to me versus Jason. They'll be looking in my direction a bit more, looking to maybe cuddle with me a bit more. You guys are gonna ask what shampoo we use for these guys because they're so shiny and soft. But guess what? It's because of their diet. It's because of that raw diet that keeps them looking shiny, shiny. Not the shampoo. Look at this sweet guy. He already knew. I move up to the front of the bathtub. Mom's going to put the water on me. We just use a cup from 2001. Yeah, about that. <laughs> yes, this came with us when we moved in together. Yes. Uh, 22 years ago, just about. Um, so yeah, I'm going to turn on the water and just coat, get his, his uh, fur all coated with water. So I like to use a little bit warm water on the dogs when I turn on the bath and I just make sure I use enough water to fully coat his whole body, except I avoid the top of his head. I go up through his neck and then I add a, probably a, a, about a quarter size amount of shampoo along his back. And I usually pour one cup of water on top of that to activate the shampoo and really use my fingertips to work it all through his fur and get him nice and cleaned. Then I'm gonna let that sit on him for a few more minutes while I clean his ears. I also, to do his face, I took a washcloth and I just wetted it. And I do take a little bit of the shampoo and I kind of rub that up through the front of his head, get around his ears. And again, we're nose. making this as pleasant as possible for him so he doesn't fight it, so he enjoys it. Like it's always a pleasant, positive experience. The dog's face is getting dirty. And I'm just using a little ear cleaner. I like to do their ears while they're in the bathtub. Uh, both dogs actually like their ears done, but we just get that off Amazon. And give them a good little clean. JJ's ears get dirtier than Bruce's. Dirty ears. Damn. At this point, after I've washed his face, his ears, massaged his body, his shampoo sat up, sat on him enough time that we rinse him off. Now it's Bruce's turn for his bath. Ooh, this brush works good. Want to show it to him? Yeah. So I got this little shedding brush. I've never used this one before, but I can tell that one's working. Like if I do this, you don't see as much hair coming off, right? Yeah, that gets like a lot of the undercoat. It gets that undercoat on him, which is his biggest thing. Especially on his legs is really hard to uh -huh. get. Uh-huh. Because the way he doesn't have much, he doesn't have like much of any fat to begin with. Whoa, look at that. Yep, and Bruce gets really brown when he starts shedding. Look uh, at all that. I told you. No wonder why you think I don't brush them sometimes. Yeah, because when I use that, I'm like, why That's is That's great. Yeah. That gets a lot off. I'm going to go over his patch with that. So we're going to give Bruce a real good brush, just like we did with Justice. And then we're going to get y'all bathed up, buddy. He's so tired. Wow, dude. 
me had a lot coming up. It's a lot of that underhand. Do you go backwards with this one, um, too, or I'm, no? Only on his legs. Okay. Yeah, because it seems like... I will, like, on his legs against the grain, but mm -hmm. not in his, like, skin, like, up there or anything. But down there, yeah. Right? Look at that. Dang. And it's hard to, to brush their legs, and yeah. that works so good. Wow. Where'd you get this from, or is this... Amazon. Amazon. Okay. Amazon link in the description, if I'll you remember. Oh, uh, if I remember. You can link some of our stuff. We should just set up an Amazon store, to be honest with you, Jay. We should. You guys want an Amazon store? It'll be easier for the people to find all your goodies. I can tell I'm getting more undercoat if you see the, the hair that's actually in the bathtub down there. It's all kind of like the grayish, like taupey colored fur, and that's all his undercoat. So he's already, to me, like looking more black. Dogs don't want to have all this extra hair on them either, Jay, do they? Makes them itchy just, just like it makes us itchy. All the dander and then all the, the outside allergens get stuck in their hair. How many of your dogs get allergies? Are they sneezy, itchy? And it's not a food allergy we've teased out. It's yeah. definitely because it gets really bad. Like yeah. it's fine in the winter, but right now it got warm out. We actually bathe the dogs once a week. It was something we started because we brought them to daycare and they would just come home and not have their own scent on them. They would smell like other dogs and dirt and dander and be gross. So that's how we started the habit. And then even if we don't take them to daycare weekly, we find they still need it because they start to get allergic to themselves with the sneezing and- And they play together so hard. So they, hard. they play very rough together. I mean- so It's like very hands on each other. So yeah. they're drooling on each other, getting dirt on each other. So you don't have to do that. You could always just some dogs, real good it, wipe down. some dogs can't handle some dogs can't like our bulldog wouldn't have been able to his skin would have been way too sensitive to yeah. it wow dude all the hair it's getting you a little gassy isn't it it's probably you it's like way to embarrass me mom is oddly therapeutic for me. I think I enjoy bathing them so much, Jason, because I know how comfortable they feel after it's done, you know? Yeah. Like, you can tell they're both, like, like, JJ just went and cozied up in his crate to lay down and go to sleep. Like, you can tell. They just feel good after they're bathed. Yeah, when does JJ go lay in his crate in the middle of, like... Never. At 7 p.m., 6 p.m. Never. He never has. What is it, 6? Yeah. Late for us. Okay. I think that's enough, right, Bruce? Quick we'll just a quick ferminator, and then we'll get this bath going. So normal bath that you already saw me give JJ. And then what I'm going to do is when I get Bruce out of the tub, he's actually a lot easier to dry than Justice. We just towel dry them. They have different fur. Their fur is different. JJ's is really... It's, it just holds water. Like it's very soluble or something. I don't know where his bruises, you can really wipe it off of him easily. So after I do that, I'll make sure his paws are nice and dry. And then we use this stuff also off Amazon. We'll link that. The paw butter we use for them. And I just take a little scoop of that and I butter up his paws so that they're nice and buttered because what happens, especially in the winter months, they start to get real dry and cracked. And that doesn't feel good either. Your dog's paws can start bleeding. So we try to keep them all buttered, lubed up, clean, and comfy. So that's going to wrap up this How We Bathe Our Corsos video. Do all the things. Peace.